Hello and welcome to Board Game Nights of the Round Table to where we get a budget or table or rectangle. I'm Chris. I'm Olivia. And today we're playing Crossbolts and Catapults. The light was in it. <laughs> To set up this game, you place your, uh, you have to march out your, measure out your flags. There should be 15 inches between this area and this area here. You build your, um, you build your castles along the line of the rear flags, of your rear flags. This rule book also has a very handy um, measurement at the bottom of it. And then you're supposed to at least have 10 inches at the rear of your castle. I think we both have 10 inches, but again, they put a little ruler in here for measuring that out. I appreciate that because I have tape measures, but it's kind of cool that they include one with their rollbook. So you have to have the gate, the dungeon, and the flags facing your opponent's castle. Got to put some of my stuff in. Your castle may not expand past your back line. It has to be one continuous piece. So when you're grabbing your army, uh, you have five people and your general. So you take one of your troops and you give it to your opponent, which I know I gave my guy to you. I'm not I sure. already put oh, mine he's in already, the dungeon. Yep. So at any time, if the dungeon door is knocked down, then your guy is free and you get to deploy him to your side of the battle. We set our mercenaries off to the side. They will come into play when the cards dictate. So right now, they're just going to be cheering us on from the sidelines. So you deploy your general and your remaining four troops. You can put them in the side areas of your castle. You can put them behind your castle and you can put them on top of your castle walls. Um, just remember, at any you you have two of these cards that you can uh, in your hand at any time. If your general is ever taken out, um, your general's ever wounded, this is a kid friendly game, then you lose one of your cards permanently. Your hand size gets reduced. Is Anytime, he allowed to be behind? Yes. Yep. Because you so you want to keep your general safe. Now the thing you got to remember is um, the way you wound people is that they they either have to be knocked out of the play area or they have to be knocked over. Um, where their base isn't totally flat. Now the thing is, um, you can move and shoot. And when you move, you can just move your guy around pretty much wherever you want. Uh, and then when you shoot, you, you, uh, you could pick either the crossbow or the catapult. Hence the name, crossbows and catapults. And you have to place it... Does this thing have to touch the, your base? I oh, mean, I thought it had to be behind the castle. So it doesn't have to be behind no. the castle. Oh! No. So, let's see. Okay. 
Do we leave the catapult? So it says use the action. There? No, you 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 remove it when you're done. Uh, use this action to fire a weapon. Choose one of your figures. Place your weapon near uh, and no further forward than the figure and your uh, fire weapon. So this is near. So just be reasonable about that. But you can't place it any further forward. It has to be pretty much behind your figure. Now remember, you don't want all your guys out in the open because like, if all, all your guys are ever wounded, they are destroyed. Like you're, You lose the game. And you can move them from behind your castle. Oh. Like, so, moving, okay. This, I'll, I'll read the rules. Use this action to move a figure from one area to another. Pick up one of your figures and place them anywhere on your side of the play area. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, the idea is you can have your guys strategically play. It's like, I'm going to be bold. This is gonna probably going to come back and bite me. But my general, he's, he's uh, going to be up there. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to put, I'll put him here Should just for fun. Tam's little sister. Help me, help me. No, just do I'll have these two guys kind of hidden behind the castle. I'll put all three of these guys behind the castle because. Somebody help me. Yeah. Throw them a mushroom. I wonder where that's from. Okay, um, so. Does it say who goes first? I think it says the youngest player goes first. Ladies first. That's fine. You're putting your general up this there, is the youngest huh? player. Yeah, I'm, I'm being bold here. Mine's down strategizing, so... Like a dwarf hiding. A dwarf hiding. I am totally the one to let you go first, by the way. I resent that remark. You mean you resemble it? I resent it. Okay. So, you first you draw two cards. <clears throat> you can play a card, then you can take two actions. Your two actions are move and shoot. We doors are for the doors, and we like to count our gold. Is that shuffle? Yeah. I'm going to shuffle mine a little bit more fairly, because like I don't think I shuffled mine very well. It's hard to shuffle these ones. There's not a lot of them to... I'm gonna do it. Okay. One. Sorry, what are the actions okay. that we take? So if this is place a person in your flanks. That means it's one on the sides of your uh, thing. So okay. actually, I kind of limited myself over there. I don't have a lot of flank over here there. Um, so you can't hide your mercenaries inside your castle. This says play them in your flanks, by the way. They're meant okay. to be stayed in the, the flanks. So... Um, so you can play a card. Then you can move and shoot. Or you can just shoot. Wait, when you play the card, then you place them in your flanks? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Is it only this guy that can shoot the homing bee? Uh, no, anybody can shoot a crossbow. Crossbow? Yep. Anybody can. The crossbows just fire flat and the catapults have an arc. Nice. So. Oh, yeah. that's my turn to go first. <laughs> I'm just figuring out the game. <laughs> okay. Um, so, play a card. I'm going to play this card. Mm -hmm. Brog, Brog the Dauntless. Mm hmm. I believe it's this one. Well, behind here. you can play the flanks are like here oh. back. Um, on each of your future turns, the first time you fire your catapult and don't hit a brick figure, gain a bonus action. Okay. So it's each of your future turns, so I don't think it counts for this turn. Yes. Yeah, on each Correct. of your future turns. Yep. Correct. Okay, now I get to move my opponent, or my opponent, I get to move one of my guys. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move them right here, and then I'm going to put my catapult, because, you know, I want to try the catapult. Remember, you can adjust it by this little screw in the back. Oh, yeah, that's right. Can I do, like, I'm not going to hate your castle, but can I do, a, I haven't done this, can I do, like, a practice? Yeah, go ahead.
trying to understand the... Oh, I see. Okay, let's try to... Where do I put it? Right here? On the cross thing. So like, right there. There. Oh! Okay! Definitely not want that, of course. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot of this game. is just going to be us getting up and <laughs> retrieving our discs. Okay, so, y'all. Normally, the oh. game comes with... Oh, you're supposed to put it behind your guy. Oh, behind my guy. Like, oh, like, or at least like no further than forward. So he either like imagine a line next well, to I'm him. Well, I'm putting right there. Okay. Normally, by the way, just for people who know, we, the game only comes with six discs total. We bought the Kickstarter set. They came with three extra discs plus other things, but we're just showing you the base game right now. So if you sub subtract the three discs and you buy the base game, this is what you'll get. You're aiming for the general. Okay, I love it. The general. We'll see if my hubris is going to come back. But I think goblins are very hubris. <laughs> we'll retrieve that in a bit. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, so then you remove your siege equipment. Okay. Get a little bit. You know, man, I was going to fire from both the safety of behind my wall, but uh, first of all, now I'm going to wait. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have fun here. So I'm going to play press the advantage, which gives me an extra action. So I'm going to move. I'm going to put you right there. Are you going to shoot my guy? I'm totally going to shoot your guy. Jeez. Well, the point of the game is the wound. So this is my second action. I get three. So you have to use one hand when aiming the crossbow. Haha, <laughs> he's wounded. He is now out of the game. <clears throat> now... <sighs> Should I get your guy out? Totally. Oh, did you draw your card, by the way? No. I didn't know that at the end of the turn, turn, yeah. Ah! I was not trying to squeeze that off, but it's okay. So I, did, I draw a card. It's now your turn. Okay, I'm going to play Karna, and I'm going to put her in the back. What'd she say? Oh, you have to um, place Karna, in one of your flanks. Of your you can't place. place it behind the castle. The flanks are considered between your castle and the flags. Oh, right here? Yeah, but behind it too is fine, but you can't place it behind the wall, in other words. Okay. Place the name of disc on her on each of your future turns if Karna is holding the disc, gain a bonus action. On each of your future turns, the first time you fire your catapult, don't hit a brick figure, gain a bonus it's action. Each one of your turns. Um, oh. Um, so now that applies. Each one of your future turns. So, so. it's a future turn now. Yeah, well, but for this one. Yeah, but so as long as she's one. holding the disc, in other words, she gains a bonus no, no, action. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, but now this one is. This uh, one is in. Yeah, so if you if your catapult completely misses, yes. you can take a different. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna fight behind. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm. take a couple shots behind. Well, actually, three shots. Right? Well, um, only if you you can take two shots if you don't hit. A brick or a figure, then you get a bonus. Oh, action. okay, okay. Here I come. Wants to take out some of her mercenaries. Now the thing is, the mercenaries don't count as units, so they're like. Here I come, general. Oh wait, I guess I need to put. Wait. You'd have to. I yeah. have to be beside my guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Like just it says near, like so. Just okay. Th that that rolls a little. I want to turn it just a tad bit. Oh, so close. Am I allowed to, like, turn it more? Or yeah. No? Oh, yeah. Like, every action's a unique shot. I'm going to torque it down just a little more. <laughs> My Juno's you know, starting to sweat a little bit as the bullets get closer. And, oh! You get one more shot since you've missed everything. Okay. Coming for you this time. Oh, I moved my catapult. <laughs> it's okay. You can... But I, I was aimed right on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get your disc. Too bad we couldn't play like blue, like be sitting behind our walls as we <laughs> take the disc to the face. Oops. Okay. 
Um, you know what? I'm going to play. To the knee. I'm going to play Taunting um, Impotence, um, which says your opponent places two of their warriors from behind their castle onto their onto their castle walls. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have to put two of your guys onto your castle walls. Oh, I do. Mm-hmm. No, I refuse. Oh, I know what I'm playing next time. Well, I'm waiting for you to put your guys on the castle walls before I decide what to do. That's nice. That put him snug in there, huh? Of course. Oh, General, you gotta stay back. You <laughs> keep your general nice and safe. Oh huh? yeah. The dwarves are for the dwarves. I'm gonna see how well this goes. I'm gonna take one shot here. Ah, I got the flag instead. Oh, I was like, what are you doing? Eh, let's go and try and take another shot because those mercenaries are a pain. For the flag! You know what, actually? I'm going to go full on catapult here. So you a little nervous when I'm shooting towards your general? Of course, you've wall. learned your lesson since you watched me No, I, I, so I was going to shoot like this beforehand. Of course you did. <laughs> that counts! No, it doesn't. <laughs> hey, you're pretty strong. I built you pretty good. Good job, <laughs> castle. <laughs> uh, and I draw a card. It's now your turn. <laughs> okay. I am going to play Homing Beacon. As your first action, fire the Homing Beacon from your crossbow. If it doesn't... Oh, wait. Do I have to move? No. Uh, well, you, yeah, you, you'd have to move to be in front of the castle to fire. Let's move your guys. Never mind. I'm going to hold on to this. Put me back in the game, coach. Because <laughs> they're wounded. Well, you can't, can no, you? No, it's a joke. Oh, okay. The only way you can get a guy back is if you break down the prison walls. Okay, I'm just going to hold off on doing any cards. I don't have to use cards, no, do nope, I? No, you are okay. not required. Um, so, on each of your future turns, if Karna is holding the disc, gain a bonus action. So I get two bonus actions because yeah. this one gives me a bonus action too. That's fine. So I can shoot. Well, only if you miss two times or three times now. I'm going to laugh if you whack your own castle door. Behind. Shut up. No, it scared me. Psychological torment. I don't think you would have hit your own castle. Oh! <laughs> okay, so just so you guys know what the rules are for castles, is if any time a block is knocked loose where it's no longer touching any other part of the castle, it is considered broken. So these are removed. <laughs> I killed my own castle. My beautiful castle. <sighs> Here, where's your bag at? That's um, okay. So you did hit a brick technically, so you don't get your bonus action. So I get one more, right? Yeah. Each of your turns, the first time your catapult, uh, when you're the first time your catapult. Oh, the first time your catapult doesn't hit a brick. Okay, so you still actually get a bonus action because you fired it first and you totally missed. Here, there's this piece too. Do I get two more? Yep. Well, now you have, like, a nice big open area. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I was worried about that. <laughs> it's like a field goal right there. Oh! Yes! My hubris. So I have to discard one of my cards. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this card. Because now my general is knocked out. Oh. Nice. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go and play Olag, the Destroyer. 
you place him in your flanks as long as he's standing. Whenever I shoot my catapults, I can put two discs on the catapults and fire them both at once. But for now, I'm going to take another shot with the crossbow. You like that crossbow, don't you? Well, it's good for taking out people. Ugh, yeah, well, time for a crossbow. I moved him a little bit. Wait, did I lose all of my characters? No. Oh, there they are on the other side of the catapult. You get two shots? Because of my guy, yeah. At the same time? Sure. Yeah, it says, um... Oh, you knocked it over! You were asking questions. It says, uh, Olag, the destroyer, place Olag in your flanks. Um, each time you fire your catapult, you may fire two am ammo checkers at once. So I have to figure out how to do that properly. But we'll see if he, uh... He makes it worth it or not. <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> I don't think he's going to be worth firing. <laughs> Is it my crossbow or my catapult? Catapult, yep. Okay, well, that's your turn. Please! Drag on in one of your flanks at the start of each of your future turns. Move one of your figures as a bonus action. Well, <laughs> try to so, get you guys off. Okay. I'm going to use... Um, is that for just catapults? Yes. Oh, this one right here. It says when you fire your catapult. But this one I can get a yeah. bonus action on that Remember, one. you have to place it next to your guy. I get a bonus action. I know, I'm okay. going to move my guy as my free action, unless, mm -hmm. oh, it's, uh, it counts uh, as an action. Well, so it's also get... in the future, too. That's why I said. Yeah. So it's actually future, so i got to use one of my people to move this guy. One of your actions, yep. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Ooh, nice. <clears throat> you should shot him into the box. I wasn't even going for that guy. Huh? I wasn't even going for that guy. <laughs> so that's one, two, and then him. Yeah. Oh, very nice. I mean, yeah, yeah, I was going for that guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Let's see. So it says, Lay of the Land. Play if you have a turn in play. Immediately look at the top five cards of your deck. Choose one of them. Um, play one of them, then shuffle your deck. Otherwise, if your catapult from behind, otherwise, fight your catapult. So, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to play this one. I'm going to play the Decoy General. Um, it says. Uh, as a, so, um, fire the decoy general from your catapult. If it lands in your opponent's battlefield and didn't hit a brick or a figure, uh, place the general, uh, your opponent, um, place their general next to the disc. So I might be drawing your general help. I can move him next round, right? You can. Ah, oh, I hit a brick! Okay. I'm just going to be firing in your general direction. I knocked your gate out. Literally towards the general. <laughs> ah, just over. Okay, you want to throw your gate in your bag? I will. Oh, I draw a card. I'm going to play Homing Beacon. So I'm going to put this underneath because this only plays one time, I believe. Well, you should keep those guys not in your discard pile. Oh, okay. I was wondering how to do that. Homing Beacon. As your first action, fire the Homing Beacon from your crossbow. If it doesn't hit a brick or figure, fire the crossbow again from the current position of a Homing Beacon as a bonus action. 
straight, or do I mm -hmm. go behind? Uh, well, it just as okay. So draw like an imaginary line. But it has can't be in front of that line. Okay. So that's a, that's legitimate. Oh, nice. You're gonna just try to flank it from behind, huh? Oh. Sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna give you more grace than I should. Oh, you hit something. Oh, and then I get to fire says, again, right? If it doesn't hit a brick or a figure. Yeah, uh, but I can. But you did. So the homie bacon's normal... now. Yeah. That's you. up though. So I have two more actions plus. One action. So three. Three more actions. Well. Because the beacon, does that count as? No, oh. no, no, it doesn't. So two more actions. Right. Well, there goes your gate. The gate? I mean your flag. Oh, oh your guy's three. Oops. <clears throat> Where do I put him? Right uh, anywhere here? you want. Oh. You know what? I'm going to move this one. Well, you're supposed to remove them from there. after you're done shooting Sorry. them. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to place uh, Karam the Bloodthirsty in on each of your future turns. Um, so you I, just get one card, right? Because yes, because of, of my general Because I knocked your general out. Yep. Okay, well, let's just take some more shots from behind your thing. Okay, taunting empathets. Em yeah. Um, your opponent places two of their warriors from behind their castle onto their castle wall. Okay. Walls. Yep. <clears throat> okay. And then I don't know. I'm really enjoying the this guy. So. I'm gonna have to move because of this now. Okay, so I get three actions. <laughs> it's a lot of this, by the way, picking up your disc, but it's fine. Oh, you're going crossbow crazy, huh? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Oh, here, let's get these discs out of the way. Oh, sorry. I was we'll trying, you get away I was with actually, those. like, trying to... Golly, he's going to come out the standard bear. Same thing, essentially I get a bonus action as long as he's standing. Oh, you know what, I'll put him here. Because this guy gets a free shot with the crossbow. And if he misses, I can take another shot with the crossbow. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to waste an action on moving. So I'll put him here. Wait, how many actions do you get? Well, he takes a free shot with the crossbow, and then I moved, and now I'm shooting. Oh, so you took two shots? No, well, he if he misses his first oh. shot, he takes a second shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was so stinging close. 
Okay, I'm going to play Ostov, the Sapper. Place Ostov in one of your flanks. At the start of each of your feature turns, your opponent removes a brick from their castle. Mm. So I am going to use my ability to move and place this guy behind. You have my to keep castle. your mercenaries out on the flanks. Oh, they do have to be? Yeah. At least I believe so, because I think that's the idea, is they give you buffs, but they're not supposed to be. Leave the tactic cards face up in front of you as long as they're... Remember, you don't... Yeah, I think the idea for the mercenaries is that they're supposed to stay in play. Okay. Like, out there, so... Um, so I still get a move action... And then I get a uh, future turn. Yeah, so we got three actions there. And so I'm going to try with my catapults. Remember the first shot you take with your catapult, if you miss, that gives you a bonus shot. Right. But I don't know why I'm reminding you of stuff you're wanting in the game, so. Here we go. Oh, let me get this out of the way. Oh, that hit, so you do not get that bonus action. She's got it dialed in, guys. Oh, no, another one of my guys. Let's see, that's one, two. Where's, where's my general at? I took him out oh, earlier. Yeah, I know, three, so. Oh, let's get this out of the way, because you clear the debris. Last shot. Well, I think I got two guys left. Um, so I'm going to take... Oh, I'm going to play this card, which gives me a bonus action. But I'm going to use his thing, which lets me shoot. Oh, I got that wrong, actually. So if he wounds a figure, fire again as a bonus action. But I let you get away with a lot of your misfires and your crossbows. That's fine. So. It's, fine. it's fine. Can you move that desk, please? Here we go for the money. <laughs> I think that counts as wounding a figure, so I'll take another shot. So your flag bearer is now gone. Misfire! <laughs> that's a misfire. Okay, fine. I'm fighting with... Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Now, uh, Gully is at the start of each of your future turns. Move one of your figures as a free bonus action, which... Gully isn't going to benefit... Oh, I got this guy. Okay. At the start of my turn, move him. Where do I want to... Do I want to move him? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to move him, yeah. Right here. I'm going to attempt to knock out your. I went to remove a brick from my wall this turn. How'd you know? Because your thing, your guy. So do I actually want to move I him was over here? Remind you actually. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to move him over here. I'm trying to take out one of your guys. Unfortunately, this is a really awkward shot for me. Can you move that shield, please? No, it's protecting my guy. Aw, oh, man. See the guy that makes me yes. take out walls? Yes. Let's see, one, two. Eh, um. <sighs> that wall, I've hit that a couple of times. It's a good wall. But unfortunately, that made me expose my guy, so. I am going to use my boomerang as your first action fire, fire the boomerang ammo disc from your catapult. If it lands face up, you may fire it again as a bonus action. Keep firing until it lands face down. Uh, okay. This is for all the marbles. 
Oh, okay, I took out the guy, never mind, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, nice, took out my wall, my door. <clears throat> These bags also come with the Kickstarter, so you'll have just regular plastic bags. Did that, was that face up then? Nice. And face down, but you took out one of these. Very good. And I still have three more action or two more actions. Our castles are looking more and more pathetic. <laughs> oh, nice. I think there goes my. I think I still had something that used that a card that used that. So. Yeah, I have the card still. Oh no, is it a different She's one? She's dialed right? in, guys. Oh, you know what? This guy's technically knocked out the play area too. I screwed oh, him is? over with my one of my shots. Yep. Oh, you did? Yep. But this is right on the flag. If you want to play it there on the line, they still count as in. That's fine with me. I want to so. count it because. Oh wait, so. is one of my other? Oh, this one's out. So, so I two. have. Um, I'm going to play Snilak. Was oh, it more? I don't want to cheat. What it's okay. That's that? fine. I have Silac, Silnac, the Sneaky. Oh, plus place. my flag isn't in the correct area. No. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. It needs to come this way. It needs to come this way. Okay, way, that's fine. So. There we go. Yep. So place Snellac can be uh, behind your castle. And this is he can be moved onto your opponent's side. And it can move as a bonus action. So I can move him onto your side. I can't move him behind your castle or in your flanks, which behind the. What? You can place him on your opponent's side of the battlefield, oh, okay. not their flanks or their castle. So, I but can't not play. their flanks. This but is my th this flanks. is your flanks right here. Your flanks is behind your castle. Oh. So I'm gonna place him right there. He's gonna use his little crown. Oh, I forgot to take my free shot before I do anything with him. I'm gonna take my free shots. Seems like the things turn a little bit to the... It's, uh, okay, so I did not... Okay, now I'm going to use a free action to move this guy. He's Mr. Sneaky. Mr. Sneaky in broad daylight. Okay, I let you have three shots like that. That's one action. Two actions. And Took all my mercenaries. Well, he's just totally exposed for you to take him back. <laughs> oh, but it was worth it because those guys were tearing me apart. I tell you what. I'll tell you what. Okay, well, I'm going to play Chaos in the Ranks. Move one of your opponent warriors from their flank to anywhere on their side of the battlefield. That means in the castle. No, too, on right? their side of the battlefield. That's... Oh, okay. Well, right here then. You're gonna put him right out on the open. Oh, huh? yeah. That's smart. I agree. Okay, I'm gonna move my guy as an action. Warriors, I. I think that when it says warriors, it means. No, it said mercenaries. Oh, move one of your opponent's warriors from the flank. The warriors the are these guys, like this oh. guy. So you can move him from I behind. I thought it was the mercenaries. No, okay, sorry. just move that guy. Then. This guy? Yep. Okay, bring both my guys on. Yeah, yep. I mean, yep. you can clear them out if you want. And he was right here. Wait, is this guy, this guy's out, right? Yes, um, all your mercenaries geez. have been removed. I've shot them all. Okay, so if I move him, then I only get one action, right? Mm hmm And remember, you don't have to worry about my mercenaries. You just have to knock out these two guys to win. But would, he can shoot, though. He can he, shoot, he, but I'm just telling you, you don't like you don't have to kill him to take them out. Well, I have to move him. He's got to get out of here. Yeah, he's annoying. I would. So that you moved, and now you're shooting. Sorry, I gotta make sure I get him. You took out your own guy too. <laughs> Oh, that count? Friendly fire counts. Well, I, I mean, I accidentally hit him you like that. You took out your own. Uh, 
job, my little assassin. You did your job well. <sighs> so I'm going to play the Orin Fop... Fopperter? Orny Fopperter? No, now you've said it wrong. I can't say it now. <laughs> Ornette Hopter. Ornette Hopter. Anyway, so I can drop it from my hand from anywhere on the board. I just have to use this box length as like above what I'm dropping it. So that's it. I keep lowering it. Yes, though. you keep lowering it. There we go. I hate you. The tables have turned. No, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. You heard it here first, folks. Now this guy gets to fire his free shots. Oh, you put my guy right in the. <laughs> Well, I'm going to move a figure for free, and they want to shoot at you. All right. I might hit my own castle here. Oh, that hit your guy! <laughs> I'll get another shot, thankfully. You do? Are you sure you do? Moving was free. I shot once. I shot this guy for free. I hit his battlement twice and he survived. <laughs> well, you have Lay to Lay the land. If you have a turret in place, immediately look at the top five cards of your deck and play one of them. Put the rest back and shuffle mm -hmm. your deck. Otherwise, fire your catapult from behind your castle as a bonus action. The battle's getting intense. Right. She's getting competitive. Uh-huh. I like how your castle is in better shape than my castle, but I have no shields. I, I have all the shields. You have one shield left. Do, we only have one flank, though, right? Well, we, we're technically allowed to have two, but it's like on the other side. So if you can fit a guy between the castle and the flag. Well, it's, in this one card, I can... If I still have my general, I can, I can shoot from both my flanks without a figure. But yeah, I would, I would, I would still let you do that though. That Is it crossbow or catapult? Uh, it, it, it just says shoot. It just yeah, it just says shoot. I would let you shoot from that side. I don't like. It's fine. It says as a bonus action, fire from one of your flanks. You do not well, need a one. figure there. So you could just yeah, if that's your fine. general still in play, fire from both oh, flanks okay. instead. That's fine. I, I'd let you fire twice from both, like one from each flank. Just put it, just have like one of the legs outside the castle. That's, and then you're good. Because I don't think you want to do anything at the crossbow. I don't think the crossbow would be. So that would be a bonus action. Yeah, that would be a that. free attack. Yeah. Okay. So then I put these back. And then shuffle the deck. Shuffle. Oh, this guy died. He served his uh, purpose pretty, quite well. I guess those are the flanks, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, that was like crazy because that even missed that. Now I have to do it on the other side, mm -hmm. right? You can fire from your catapult if you want. Oh, I can. Okay, I'll do that. Does, does this count just, as a flank? No, the flank is past the castle wall. Like, and I like I said, just have it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, now I get to just do regular Your normal, attack, yep. normal attacks. Okay, well this guy is going to come down. So that's a move, that's one action. That's one action, yes. Because I'm afraid. <laughs> Wait, I don't know where this guy he came from, but he was dead. So. I remember I dropped the disc and knocked yeah, him off the wall. I just have one guy over there, right? Uh, you should have two guys left. Plus whatever mercenary. I mean, you. one mercenary, mercenary left. Yeah. But he's not in play. No, that's close. That was moving a shoot. Okay. There's a disc all over the floor, guys. Okay. Well, I'm going to play um, 
Kaz, and I put him in my flank. And as long as he's holding a disc, I get a bonus action, but that doesn't start this turn. It's the next turn. I'll put you here. This guy gets to shoot. But unfortunately, there's really no good angle, so I don't think I'm going to shoot with him. But I am going to move this guy, so it's going to be one of my... I get to move him for a free action because of this guy's ability. And then I'm going to shoot. Try to free my guy from jail. One shot. <laughs> These two are out, right? Yep. Okay. He almost knocked out another piece. <laughs> okay. I am going to do this one. Do I get rid of this one since it doesn't work anymore? Full volley. Um, it was says otherwise, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm going to do Singard, the skill. Oh, what's he do? Um, I do one card closer. Oh. As long as he's in play, huh? Yeah. Play Singard on one of your flanks, move the middle line flag one card length closer to your opponent when Singard is wounded, move them back. So technically your guy is in my line. Um. Or right out my line. Yeah, I think he would be right on the line, so. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's right on the line. And since we kind of rolled earlier, right on the line counts as inside. Uh, but here we go. That's fine. Can you move your... Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, we might be getting a one roll wrong. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wait till the end of turn to clear the debris or not. So, but we've, oh, we've just okay. been playing that you just clear it right away. We'll see. I'll check the rolls and I'll put a little note in the bottom. I've just been moving at the end of the turn. That's what we've been doing. We've both been playing equally. We, <coughs> no, the debris, as soon as it falls, we just, we've just been clearing it up. I, I'm not sure if you're supposed to wait till the end of the turn or not. We'll see. I will check the rules and put in a little annotation, but. Okay. We were well, already doing it before I thought about that, but. I can move and shoot, right? Yeah, yeah, you still have actions you can take, so. Okay. I'm move him. That's when you're... Uh, yep. Oh, I'm so afraid now that I'm going to hit my castle. Ooh, two for one. Uh, you guys served me well. I was like, they were getting annoying. They had to go. Right. Okay. Well, I'm going to play press the advantage. <laughs> the advantage. Um, <laughs> which lets me take a bonus action. So, um, And this guy also gives me a bonus action, so I have four actions. <laughs> Four? Yeah, I have two my, my two normal actions, oh, okay. plus I get a bonus action for him. Plus I, I thought press. you said that you have four bonus actions. I was like, that's going to be six. Oh no, it's just God. four actions. Okay. Uh. See, if we were playing shields, I would have won. Oh, wait. I guess, I, do I leave no, it just there? We've been playing okay. that, we've been taking okay. it off. So make sure you pull your shield out, though, because... One, two... I freed him. I just love how the disc is just right there. I'm going to... Oh, okay. Does and this then, go in? Yep. Then we're going to go here, three. You can move him for free? No, three. My third action. Move. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice knowing you, sir. You did your you did your good deed. Does that look about right? It's supposed to be a card length. I think that's pretty close. Does this look good from the same? I'm. It's fine. Okay. okay. Four. So that's my yeah, actions. I saw that one, but. Well, it's okay. Okay, I get an extra bonus action since I don't have either of those things. 
I get three hits with my catapult. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so I'm going to fire my boomerang. Anytime it lands face up, I can reshoot it. We're going to count that. Oh, face down. Go figure. Well, then I'm going to just take my shots. Which is how many? My, I get three actions. Three actions. I just want to be finding disc for weeks. How'd that miss? Let's top of your smugness. Okay, I'm going to press the advantage. Oh, so you get a bonus action now. I get a bonus action. Ooh. That's actually pretty smart. Oh, so this since this is no longer continuous, all of this gets destroyed. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Oh, you got lucky. Why? I had a card that I was going to use this turn, but you took out the jail before I could use it. Yes. So this gets discarded. I could have brought one of your guys back into my jail and repaired the jail door. Unfortunately, you took it, but uh, you know what? Let's see if I can take out something here. Good night. Built it strong. <sighs> you want to shoot it again? You can. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Okay, last shot here. <sighs> Boy, you and your. <laughs> <laughs> that just won't die. Okay. I'm going to use Enchanted Crossbow. As a bonus action, fire your crossbow from anywhere on your side of the battlefield. You do not need a figure there. Oof. Oh. Okay. So I'm realizing these brick pieces are very critical and you should use them strategically. Oh, you're going to take him out? That's smart. Yep. But if you guys, if the, if the battery didn't work, Olivia took um, took out my jail cell and took out my guy. She took out my guy right there because of her enchanted crossbow. <sighs> war of attrition. What? <laughs> it's a war of attrition. <sighs> Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to play Divine Intervention, but since I don't have the thing, I can just take a free shot. I'm going to take my other three shots here. I'm going to need some more disc. Oh, I got them right there. Can that thing knock down? So I did my one, two. Three. Let's. That's it, right? No, I got one more shot. Oh, uh, four. You, I have three actions, and then I have that bonus shot. Oh. From that card, so they couldn't play the advantage of it. So. Oh, thank you. What you in the world? Right back up for me. <laughs> what in the world, guys? I've just I've hit that, and I've hit that, and I've hit that. It's like. Oh, I'm gonna play enchanted crossbow oh, again. Oh no. Oh, here it goes. This is it. Ah! Ooh. Get some more actions. <laughs> well, 
like, it's funny. It's like, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I guess these things could go into the construction bags. Okay. I have chaos in the ranks. It says play this and move one of your opponent's warriors to anywhere on their side of the battlefield. <sighs> okay. So battlefields is this area. So I guess put your guy right here. My guy? Yep. Right here? Yep. You got to choose that how? Uh, chaos in the ranks. I, um, oh, okay. I thought it said move one flanks. of your opponent's warriors uh, from their flanks to anywhere on their side on your side, oh, their side okay. of the battlefield. <laughs> now, if you miss this, I'm not giving you a reshot. Okay, fair enough. One. Why does it keep? Two. It shoots to the right, and I'm not sure why. Well, mine shoots to the left, so. <laughs> does it I don't, really? I don't know. Okay, so you got one general versus two of my guys. Well, I'm gonna play bag of gold. What's that do? Uh, your first action, as your first action, fire the bag of gold from the crossbow. If it lands in the enemy flank, place a warrior from their flank into your flank. It is now your figure. Is that what? Place it, it is now their, your figure. Ooh, so you're going to steal one of my guys? Yeah. Uh, so a flank would... <laughs> here, I well, think. Well, technically, it's all the way over here because... Mm -hmm. You're probably right. If I can put put it on the thing... <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm gonna get you back for that. Oof. You still have the one more shot. Oh, I do. You have two actions. As, this, as your first action. Does it say as your first action? Yeah, as your first I, action. We've been getting that wrong. Bag of okay. gold from the crossbow. Go ahead, take a shot, because I've been getting that wrong. Oh, you have? Yeah. I just thought you play the cards and they just activate. Oh, I am okay. so sorry. Can I have? I don't have any more bullets. You took them all. <sighs> I'll be happy to return them to you from my catapult. <clears throat> nice. That's still connected, though. <laughs> okay, so I got full volley. My balcony is not in place, so I just get a free shot. So I have four catapult shots here. I only have one card left. I know, same here. You've been such a good castle. And unfortunately, would you say this is a continuous piece or no? How does this work? You choose a side that you want to keep. Oh. I don't think this counts. Unfortunately, this did fall. Oh, okay. So. Well, I'm scared, but I think this side would be the safer option, but this guy has held on so well. You're trusting the old faithful there, I'm huh? I'm trusting old faithful. I may be wrong, but... Old so faithful. that was one shot. I have my three regular shots now. One more. Mm -hmm. oh, you can't look. <laughs> I hit your catapult. Unfortunately, it doesn't count. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. I should have had that off the thing. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. I'm so excited. I forgot to put in a, a thing. Press the advantage. Get an extra bonus. <laughs> okay. So I get three shots. Okay, this last one I have just gives me an extra shot. So four shots come in your way. This is my free shot from the card since I don't have my general. Second shot. <laughs> Third shot. Four. 
first shot. Oh, I'm just walking it I over. Can, I can breathe now. I gain a well, bit of tension. Is... Oof. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you doing that extra shot? Because I got. Okay. The are bonus. you pressing that? No, it's fine. I'm just. Okay, I have no more cards to play, by the way, so I can't do anything besides take three shots here. This is shot number one. Shot number two. Oh, my general. That's the end of the game? That's the end of the game. Oh, okay. Because once you defeat all your opponent's warriors. Oh, okay. I should have put him behind the castle. I thought... I was... Okay. Oh, well. Whew. That was touch and go there. I did like my strategy, though, of keeping the general behind my castle. Oh, that was definitely the smarter strategy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I was... I, I, I like chaos, so I was... I'm more interested in chaos. Okay, so uh, that was crossbolts and catapults. Uh, we uh, the goblins inked out a victory there at the end. Uh, there's not much of either castle left standing. Your old faithful foundation there seemed like it held up really. Well. I hit that thing about six times. Probably more than that. And just ding ding. You should have had your journal behind there. You would have been fine. <laughs> well, I was, but then I was. I didn't know. I didn't know you could hit my last guy, and it would be the end of the game. I thought oh. you had to do both. No, sorry, I, I, I said so, that you have to defeat I, all your opponent's it's warriors. Okay. It's, it's okay. But, um, so what did you think about this? I game? really enjoyed it. It was very easy to catch on. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to catch on on games, like to read everything, but it was super easy for my first time for a game. Like the layout was good. The cards were easy to understand. Mm -hmm. um, the castle building was easy, and it was just fun. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, the castles are like they're they're fragile on purpose. Like that, yeah. like they're they're meant to feel kind of uh, because it feels flimsy. weird when you're setting them up because it feels like you're just they're just, they're all just gonna, gonna fall, fall down. Over. But that's but what they're supposed it's to do. Like they're more sturdy than what you think they're going to. <laughs> yeah, be. they're both more sturdy and less than what you'd expect. Yeah, sometimes like the dumbest thing seems like it knocks something over, yeah. but then other times you're they're like taking six direct hits and. Right. Uh, but that, that's fine. So we, we bought the Kickstarter stuff, so we have a couple of other Siege engines. Yeah. And we also have the uh, more. We have, like, a, essentially double the bricks, so we could build a bigger castle. We might right. do that sometime. Yeah. Um, maybe if we ever hit this game again. But, uh, yeah, I say that if you like dexterity games, mm -hmm. it, this, this is a great game. I, I would say especially for kids. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, but uh, the, the strategies are easy. Again, there's some reading required because you have these special cards. Right. I think these cards... Elevate it from, uh, like, these cards add strategy to it. Oh, definitely. Like, it's, it takes it from just a simple, super simple, almost too simple game to just enough strategy to make right. it fun and enough differences to where you're like, oh, boy, I'm starting to... I think they could Dropping easily, this on top of a yeah. bonus, that's fun, like, I think boomerang. you could easily expand this as well, mm -hmm. like, by just adding cards and some more players, too. Yeah. Yep. I mean, not, like... A four-player game would almost, it would be fun. Do you think? I was just thinking more, like, um, characters and more I parts, think the pure chaos of having four players would be it hilarious. It would be interesting. Because you would just, especially if they were just every man for himself, because yeah. then you would have people, like... Oh, yeah. Uh, it'd be great. Um, it would be kind of fun to have, like, allies, too. Here, why is this shooting, like... Here, like, see, this is weird. I wonder why is that... Now that... It's because it's the way you hold it. It's probably is that shot pretty straight, but yeah. when I was squeezing, they were going off, so I had yeah, to like I had to use Kentucky windage to, to hit that. Kentucky windage. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you know what Kentucky windage means? No. Uh, when you're shooting a gun and you have to adjust like where you're pointing to make sure you hit your target, that's called Kentucky windage. Oh, okay. So uh, I had to use Kentucky windage to. Uh, I did that a lot. <laughs> 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 and with the catapult there, there in that last step, it was just shoot, make a small adjustment, shoot, make a small yeah. adjustment. And then I finally walked it Definitely. into your general, so that was fun. I think, like, if they're farther apart, you would need to put it up more. But with it being, like, so close, we mm -hmm. had to put it up, like, 
that. Mm -hmm. You knocked out half your castle the first couple of shots. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna keep that strategy for next time. I kind of liked how it ended up with the little thing in the middle. It's easier for me to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, we both had a good time playing this game. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if this thing makes it to our table more than once. Um, but if let us know. Um, again, I apologize if I got a couple of rules wrong. I, I forgot some of these cards will say as your first action. And I was not reading that right. Um, my brain was just telling me like, oh, I could just do that as like a bonus action. But no, that takes your action, your first action point. See, I read the card. So... Bonus point for ladies this time? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that, that is a rule that I got wrong. And as far as the clearing of the debris, I will clarify that on the video itself. Uh, but I think this was a fun game. I'm looking forward to the next time I play it. Uh, is there any, anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and until next time, take the initiative and roll out.